Today's episode is extremely important and I want you to watch it to the end. In this episode I will show you how to make demi glace, which is an essential classic sauce. Demi glace is an cuisine. incredible rich thick sauce. It is made by reducing brown veal or beef stock to almost syrup consistency. If you want to make really good demi glace, you need to make very good brown stock. I got 8 pounds of veal bones. You want to get bones with some fat, meat, bone marrow and tendons. Place them into the sheet pan and roast them in a preheated 450 degrees Fahrenheit oven for one hour. While the bones are roasting in the oven, let's prep mirepoix. Basically onion, carrot, celery, herbs and some other ingredients. Take 5 medium sized onions, peel them and roughly cut them. And transfer it into the sheet pan. From demi glace you can make a variety of classic French sauces, such as Bordelais, Chasseur, also known as Hunter sauce, Chateaubriand sauce, Apois, and so on. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, press the bell, press notify me to get notified about my new videos. Get 3 carrots, wash it, don't even bother yourself to peel it, roughly cut it as well. Transfer it into the sheet pan with the onions. Get 5 celery stalks, wash them and cut them. Add it all together with other vegetables. I had a white part of the leek in the freezer, so I decided to use it. Cut it, place it into the separate bowl. Wash it well, because leek contains a lot of scent. And add it to the vegetables. For 8 pounds of bones I'm using one head of garlic. Cut it into half and add it into the sheet pan. Pour some vegetable oil over the vegetables. Mix it all together well and place it into preheated 450 degrees Fahrenheit oven for 45 minutes to 1 hour. Everything is roasted, bones and vegetables are done. Get a large stock pot, mine is approximately 12 quarts. Transfer the bones in. Make sure not to wash the tray just yet. Get about 2 cups of hot water and pour it into the sheet pan. Let it soak for a couple seconds and wash all the fond from the bottom of the sheet pan. And pour it into the stock pot. Back in the days in the classic French kitchen, if you would get rid of the fond, you would get yelled by the executive chef for sure. Transfer the vegetables into the stock pot. Add half a bunch of parsley, some thyme, rosemary, 2 tablespoons of black peppercorn, 4-5 bay leaves, 4 tablespoons of tomato paste, pour 12 quarts of cold water, add 2 tablespoons of juniper berries and mix it. Put it on the stove, bring it to a boil, decrease the heat to low and let it simmer for 10 hours. Make sure not to cover it with the lid. Don't forget to stir it every half hour. 10 hours passed. Take the colander, place the bowl under it and remove bones and vegetables into it. Take about 2 cups of water and pour it over the bones with vegetables. This way I'm making sure to get as much good stuff from my stock as possible. Pour this liquid back into the stock and strain it with a mush strainer and cheesecloth. And my beautiful brown veal stock is ready. Cool it down and place it into the fridge overnight. During the night you can relax and sleep. Next day remove the pot from the fridge, get a tablespoon and get rid of the fat cap. This brown veal stock is so great and rich in flavor, it became as jello overnight. It means that it's a good stock. Now it's time to reduce the stock by half or even more. Bring it to a boil, reduce it to a medium heat and let it reduce on a medium heat for about 2 hours. You will see that the consistency of the stock will get thicker and the flavors will get more concentrated. 
Make sure not to forget to stir it every 15 minutes, so nothing gets burned. My demi glass is ready. I'm transferring it into the smaller saucepan. Just take a look how beautiful and rich it came out. And here you can see my 12 quart stock pot, where I started to cook my brown stock, and I ended up with a quarter and a half of demi glass. No shortcuts, cool it down. Transfer demi glass into small deli containers or ice trays for future use. Store them in the freezer up to 10 years. Remember, when I made my brown stock, I didn't season it with salt. So when you are ready to make any sauce that requires demi glass, don't forget to adjust the seasoning. Hope you enjoyed this episode.